my name's uh, Peter McCowan and uh, this is a short film about uh, magic, myth and mystery. Uh, the whole thing started off uh, when I was a kid uh, from a book I got in the library. So I've always had an interest in magic. I love the idea of being able to uh, amaze and uh, astound people. But also the fact that all magic really is based on some type of uh, science behind it. And uh, Joseph Dunger wrote this, this book uh, which contains a whole series of amazing magic tricks with hidden bits of technology making them work. But for me, uh, as a kid, one of the things that really um, stuck out in my mind was an ancient Greek uh, magical machine uh, called Hero's Horse. Uh, Hero's Horse was uh, something of a fixation of mine. Uh, it seemed an impossible piece of magic to have built in the time of ancient Greece. And I've always wondered whether or not it was possible to actually build one of those uh, today, uh, whether or not it would have worked. So this is a very short film that's going to tell you a little bit about our journey from taking the ideas of a hero's magical horse from a book, from an ancient Greek manuscript and turning it into a piece of, hopefully, uh, magical technology for today. This is a working version of the mechanism for the horse As the knife passes along the groove, the cam begins to rotate. As the cam rotates, at this point, it starts to move a lever connected to here, which is moving the ears on the back of the horse. As the lever is pushed down, the ears fold back. As the knife continues, this cam begins to exit here, and another arm begins to en enter up here. As the knife continues, the two halves are now joined by this piece and the knife is free to exit. There are small bearings positioned along the edge of the cam and these provide a friction-free operation. So here we are, the reality of our version of Euron's horse. An idea that started off as an ancient Greek manuscript turned into the gilt reality you see in front of you, thanks to support from the European Union. What better mascot for our Project 10, teaching inquiries through Mysteries Incorporated, than actually being able to build a copy of Euron's horse. In ancient Greece, to prove the power of the gods, the priests would bring the horse forward, and they would take a knife and they would pass that knife through the horse, through its neck, and the head remained intact. They didn't have electromagnets in those days, they didn't have strong magnets to hold the tiles. The question is, how does Huron's horse manage to have its head remain when he passed a knife straight through it? And the rest of this video explains how we turn an ancient, an ancient idea into a modern reality using science, technology, and mathematics. So this, as we've now discovered, is the secret of Huron's horse. Uh, a series of cogs inside the neck with three parts to it, so that as you slide the knife through, there will always be a part of that cog as it rotates around, keeping the head connected. So a beautiful piece of uh, engineering from a very clever idea from a very clever ancient Greek, Huron of Alexandria, and a fantastic mascot for our project, Temi teaching inquiries through Mysteries Incorporated. And for me, the end of the story, a mystery that started when I first read about the horse in that book all those years ago. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching.